So it turns out we need to go to other valley villages because we're finding Lego galore here. Like, look at this. Two Star Wars sets, two small sets right here. Look at that. Many figures in those bags. What is that? Mm -hmm. Huh, that's a new Jabba set for sure. And I see like older pieces, right? There's just like a mix of stuff in here. I feel like this is someone's sets and they kind of bagged them. If you look, it actually looks like they're separated by bag and manual in here. So there could be some really good stuff in here. But uh, yeah, once we get back to the time, I'm show you something that I got at another thrift store today, which literally blew my mind. I've never seen anything like it before at the Valley Village that's close to our house. But yeah, I'm gonna have to go through a lot of these Lego sets to see what's worth grabbing. Definitely gonna grab one of these two for sure. This one because it's got a Lego castle horse here, right there as you can see, plus some other characters. And then uh, the Star Wars one because it's Star Wars. You, you just gotta grab that. Apart from that, honestly, not much in the toy section. Um, some interesting stuff here, but uh, I don't think these pirates are super old. They look really cool though. And the articulation is eh, not really all there for those guys. But yeah, just a lot of random pieces here. Just kind of the typical figures, Playmobil, stuff like that. Skyliner, stuff you'd always see at like every Valley Village. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna check out the t-shirt section, see what they got there. So far, I'm not seeing much in the shirt department, but if I see something, I'll update you guys and I'll show you what it is, show you the price and let you know if we're actually grabbing it. So, didn't find anything in the t-shirt section, but we ended up leaving with the Lego and also we got a video game as well, which is actually gonna lead me to my next conversation when I get in the car. Good! Okay, so just got back home and I'm gonna show you everything that we actually got. The first location we went to, which is another Valley Village, I wasn't filming in there. I had no intentions of filming at all today or making a video, but I really should have after what I picked up. So that's why I started filming at the second location. So I'm gonna show you what I got the second location first and then I'm gonna show you the insane score and potential scores that we got at that Valley Village. Now at the last thrift shop, we actually ended up grabbing a uh, Michael Jackson experience here for $2.99. Not horrible. All right, well it is complete. I was just gonna show you the manual is there, but the disc literally fell out of this case. So I'm gonna take off my seatbelt so I can go and grab that. Uh, we also grabbed a few Lego sets here, uh, Lego baggies for $4.99. This one, there's two sets here. It's Lego 75029. These are the micro fighter sets. Perfect. And Lego 75028. Not bad at all. We also grabbed another Lego set here. Lego, Lego baggy, I should say, not Lego set. So $7 for this one, but this one has a ton, a ton of Lego pieces, including like a clone trooper helmet there. We got a Lego Knight's I can't see. horse. We got uh, other Lego minifigures as well on the inside, as you guys can see. So a lot of nice pieces there. So happy about that. And now I'm going to show you the insane haul we had from the very first Valley Village. Hey, that's pretty good. The first thing I'm going to show you guys the hats that we ended up grabbing. Uh, this just looked like a regular generic Calgary Flames snapback. Nothing too crazy. Nothing to see. Or even the back didn't really uh, look like much. And then I read Starter right there. And then I looked on the inside. And you do have the Starter the Right Hat tag there on the inside as well. Not horrible at all. This is uh, one of the newer starter hats though, made in China. So it's like maybe early 2000s, late 90s. Still a really, really decent score. The second hat, however, is just insane. Supreme, you can see there embroidered at the back. Unbelievable. First, I was like, is this fake or something? It did have 100% cotton here. So I looked at this and honestly, I was still kind of tripping out being like, I don't know, 100% cotton. I don't know if this is real or not. And then I flipped it around, thankfully, before I put it back. Made in USA right there, Supreme. So that is freaking insane. Unreal score. Now let's show you guys the video games. I only grabbed two. Honestly, Valley Village hasn't been that great for us when it comes to video games. However, recently I started realizing that they're not putting as many video games in the shelf before like the display case. Maybe they're only going for really old games now there, like Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, regular Nintendo, Atari games. Uh, something that they, they researched. For some reason, the newer games, even GameCube, spoiler alert, I don't even think makes it to those shelves unless it's like specifically Mario. But even then, I found other great stuff there as well, like 
uh, Mario, uh, Wii U stuff, and just other great games there. In the past few months, it's really changed, but with that being said, why don't I show you guys this? This is insane. So we have a sealed Nintendo Switch game, Shaun the Sheep, Home Sheep Home, Farmageddon. Not bad at all. This is like the Wallace and Gromit um, characters as well from those uh, really interesting British shows that still give me nightmares to this day. But not bad. Honestly, for five bucks, we could probably get between 25 to like $35 for this sealed in this condition. Not horrible at all. We've actually been finding some uh, interesting games lately at that Valley Village, but nothing, nothing tops this next game that I'm going to show you unbelievable so what actually happened was we we're going around the corner and there was a woman who had a massive amount of crates that were filled with media and she was actually restocking the media section and i noticed there's a few colors there like the like giveaway that these were games i saw the xbox one green cases i was like oh there's games there and i was gonna kind of like look and then walk by and then kind of wait for her to stock up the shelf but then I looked and I saw there's a separation between the green and then there's a different color and then it goes back to green. I was like, what is that other shade? I looked, GameCube. They only, there's only two GameCube games there. One of them was a Tiger Woods game for GameCube that sells for like $13 Canadian. So I ended up passing on that considering these games are all $4.99 each, but there was one game at $4.99 was really worth it. And that game is not only just a good game, it's a freaking grail. I couldn't believe it. Def Jam. Def Jam for GameCube. $4.99. First I was like, okay, well maybe it's not in there. It's complete in box. It's got its manual as well. And the disc. The disc, I mean, there's a few little minor scratches in there, but honestly, if I clean this up a little bit, like just a nice surface wipe, it will clean up pretty well and i also have a gamecube i can test it as well to uh, you know make sure that that it, everything is working fine and honestly it's such a good game and i have been really collecting gamecube stuff lately when i really should be listing this stuff on ebay as like a reseller but i don't know there's something about finding gamecube games out in the wild now and it's getting more and more difficult by the day by the month by the year that something like this i mean i might keep it in my collection for a bit and then see how I feel after a year or so. If I still feel like collecting my GameCube stuff and just like hoarding them like I am right now, um, maybe I'll keep it. But if not, if I my feelings change in any way, I'm probably going to list this. But this goes for between like 180 Canadian to like $250 for this. These are incredibly rare. Even the Xbox version and the PlayStation 2 version are very expensive. But I think I'm pretty sure the GameCube one is the rarest, the most expensive. So unbelievable to find this out in the wild and it wasn't even this is what i'm saying it's weird because i feel like a few years ago this might have been behind the the case but honestly for 4.99 what is going on 495 bucks for this game and this is definitely now the greatest gamecube game i have in my collection hands down what an unbelievable day at the thrift honestly this was right after we got the good old bins we weren't filming for that um but it really wasn't much Definitely a thrift made it made up for it, which is wild because I've been uh, harping so much on these thrift stores lately in my city, and all of a sudden I just got blessed today massively. So hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, let me know what you think the best score was from today. Come on, no brainer right here for me at least. But I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. And remember, guys, may your carts always be full. Yeah.